In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create a PDF file in Adobe Illustrator. Over here, we have two logos on two separate artboards. To save the document, first go to the File menu and click on the Save As option. Over here, you can name your file, and after that, open up the drop-down menu next to the Save As Type option. You can choose various formats to save your artwork in. For this tutorial, we will choose the Adobe PDF option. From the option below, you can either select all the artboards in the document or choose any specific artboard to be saved. For now, let's keep the default option as it is and move on with the process. With that done, a new window will open up where we can configure the settings of the PDF document. For example, let's open up the Presets drop-down menu, and here you can see a wide variety of presets the document can be saved in. For this tutorial, we will choose the Illustrator Default option. You can also configure the compatibility of the document. For example, over here, we want the document to be easily opened in older versions of Acrobat, and therefore we will select the Acrobat 7 option. Next we will go to the Compression section. For the color bitmap images, we will select the Bicubic Downsampling option, which is better than your basic average method of compression. Next we will change the compression option to Zip. This option works well with large images. Make sure you configure the same settings for the grayscale bitmap images and the monochrome bitmap images as well. The compression is slower, but you will get better gradients and sharper colors this way. Then we have the Marks and Bleeds section. Over here we will only enable the Trim Mark option, which will create crop marks around the objects. With that done, let's move to the Output section and change the Color Conversion option to No Conversion. This option basically preserves the color of the document. Next we will configure the Profile Inclusion Policy option to Don't Include Profile. This is because we don't want a color profile to be added to the file. With that done, let's click on the Save PDF button below and the PDF file will be saved on your hard drive. And this is what the PDF document would look like. Moving back a little, we can also create a PDF file on a single artboard. Let's see how that works. Moving back to the Save As window, let's select the Range option at the bottom of the window and enter the artboard number which we want to save as a PDF document. For this tutorial, we will be saving only the first artboard. When we save the document now, you will see that only the first document was saved as a PDF document. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.